Come on, holla, hey, I'm a stunner, 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 summer, been in, honey, cook up, hey, my crew, hey, show for way, have it. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Beauty with Cat, and today I'm here to give you guys another wig review. This wig is coming from you nice. So let's begin with this tutorial. As y'all can see, this wig has already came pre-styled. Of course, this wig does have the three combs, two on the sides, one in the back, and adjustable straps, along with that elastic band for a glueless finish. So this is what she was given before I started to plug her. And yeah. Now, right off the bat, I did want to go with this color because when this company sent me um, like the picture of what the hair was going to look like, it was actually a, a young lady that had this wig. It looked like it was for a photo shoot, and she looked extremely gorgeous. So... I feel like off the bat, this wig is definitely perfect for like cosplaying or any type of special event where you are, you know, want to jump outside the box with different colors. This hair color was definitely given rock star, but like just going running errands, I wouldn't wear this hair per se, but this was a beautiful, beautiful wig. I low key didn't have to really pluck her, but you know me, I'm gonna pluck it. All you have to do is kind of just use like certain heating products or any type of like wax stick product to kind of have that hairline push back a little bit and then use your hot comb to reinforce like the sleekness of it and then boom. So this is what I am using for my parting space and for the actual lace is my NARS foundation. I actually love this foundation. So if you are in the color 420 in Fenty Beauty in her foundation, this was a decent match. So I'm using the wig cap that they did have um, in the packaging. Forewarning, that wig cap is extremely tight. I was wondering why I had a headache until I took the wig off and the cap off and I felt like this release of oxygen going back to my brain. So be mindful of how tight these wig caps be. So this is what she is going to look like before I glue her down. As far as like the shedding and tangling, I really didn't get a lot of shedding and tangling with this unit actually. With her already being pre-styled, 
I was actually pretty surprised that she didn't shed, you know. Look at that hairline, like, wow. Like I said, this is before I glued her down, y'all. Now, what I will say about how I glued her down, I used my bed head spray that I haven't used in a minute since I've been using other sprays. I see why I stopped using it. Yeah, baby was not, was not sturdy enough for me. Literally kept on lifting up, but I just love the application of how it sprays on like it's not a messy like it's not overbearing when you spray the actual spray on you but no she did not hold this lace down at all so i wish i would have used my even spray <laughs> or better yet my got to be like i don't know where my stuff was at but yeah Of course, I could have went in and curled her a different way, a different direction. I just really want to keep the hair a certain type of way because this is how she came. Really loved how this lace blended down. I will give this lace a 10 out of 10 because she was laying, okay? So overall, how I am feeling about this wig, like I said, she doesn't shed, she doesn't tangle. It was very minimum at best. Also about the color, I feel like the color is fun, it's very cute, it's very, it gives rock star, but for just an everyday type of wig, I wouldn't consider this an everyday wig. She did get the job done if you are trying to do and go to a special, special event or photo shoot. And y'all see, I did switch up the hairstyle. So that was always a plus to be versatile with these type of wigs as well. So that concludes today's video. I would like to thank you nice for sending me this wig. And like always, thank y'all so much for coming back to my channel. I appreciate y'all every single time. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.